What's going on guys, it's Jeff for Mad Hatters Reef.com and today we're going to be taking a look at the Neptune Systems Apex provided to us by TB Aquatics. So the new Apex has a pretty awesome box. Actually that flap on the front has some magnets in it so it actually will close every time and it doesn't kind of just flop around and when you look at it you can definitely tell that apex has put some thought into the packaging so when i was opening up the package first thing i got my hands on was the brain behind the apex and i don't know if you noticed or not but it has a sticker on it that says please read the instruction manual before operation the probes the two the red and the blue one the blue is ph the red is orp and they have a little cap on them that has some fluid in there. And that fluid is to keep uh, the sensor moist so it doesn't dry out and become damaged. Then I took a look at the Energy Bar 832. Uh, it has eight plugs for normal aquarium equipment. And then it has like that side bar where you can use a lot of different Neptune Systems products. And under that you have the Aquabus plug as well as some screws for mounting the base unit and the Energy Bar 8 some calibration packets for the probes as well as a card for the user guide that's on their website so i made a run to the local department store and i grabbed some board to mount the base unit as well as the energy bar eight and i had to work through a couple ideas as to what i wanted to achieve with mounting i wanted to make sure that it was something that i could expand in the future if i wanted to add an additional energy bar or a display unit for the apex i'm not sure if i'm going to go that road as of right now but i wanted to leave enough space so i could in the future once i had an idea as to how i was going to lay it out i got a drill bit and put a hole about i think that's like a two inch hole uh, that was going to be centrally located so it was something that i could run the probes through as well as some of the uh, plugs that were going to be going into the energy bar eight Got a little rough there at the end. Probably should have let the drill do the work, but, you know, things happen. So once I had the hole drilled in the board, I placed my base unit on the board and put some marks as to where I wanted the screws to be to make it easier for mounting. And then after that, I hung the board on the back side of the aquarium. Uh, you cannot see this from the front of the aquarium. This is kind of off to the side and behind it. And it kind of stays out of out of uh, sight. Once I got the base unit hooked up and the Energy Bar 8 installed, as well as the board up on the wall, it made things a little bit easier. So I grabbed the Aquabus plug, put it into the base unit, and then fed it into the, behind the board and then connected it to the Energy Bar 8. Once that was connected, I got the Energy Bar 8 plugged into the wall and things started happening you can see the base unit as well as the energy bar 8 go through a bunch of different lighting sequences and what we're looking to happen here is the base unit turn blue and the energy bar turn orange once this happens you can connect to your apex via whatever in my instance i used my cell phone and it's very important to make sure that your cell phone isn't on the network. It's on your Wi-Fi. And when you go into settings under Wi-Fi, you click on Apex Setup. And once you're connected to the Apex Setup, back out of settings, go to your web browser, type in apex.local, and you'll be able to connect your Wi-Fi to your Apex and vice versa. And the whole time that you're doing this, you're going to be using your cell phone basically as your display unit. And it's going to go through some checks. Once it does that, use username is admin, password is 1234, and bam, you're connected. And so after that, once I had my Apex connected to my Wi-Fi and was able to visually see my display on my cell phone, I started hooking up the probes. Started off with the temperature probe and... It was pretty easy. All you do is you just put it in the probe rack, which isn't included. I had to buy that separately. Connect the plug to the base unit, and all of a sudden you start getting a temperature read. The next probe that I installed was the ORP probe. 
and the reason why I went with that one for next was it, it's pretty much plug and play. You don't have to do any type of calibration to it. Uh, you just put it into the water and plug it into the base unit and it starts reading much like the temperature one does. After I connected the ORP probe, I went ahead and connected the salinity probe. And the reason that I did this backwards compared to the temperature and ORP, because the salinity probe actually needs to be calibrated. And it's pretty easy to do. What you do is you open up your Apex Local or Fusion if you've connected it at this point. Uh, you click on a gear tab at the top and then there's a little uh, display that shows like a probe entering water. And there's a bunch of different options. You're gonna look for a salt and it'll show that it's connected to the base unit. And once you click on that, uh, what you do is you put the probe in the solution packet and click on calibration. It takes a couple minutes, but once it's done, it's ready to go into the aquarium. And it's pretty easy to do. Big thing though, and this is something that I actually had troubles with, is you want to make sure there's no bubbles in the probe itself. Uh, it actually can throw off the reading and it's something that I experienced while going through this whole thing. Next up was the pH probe and much like the salinity one you're going to use two different packets for this one. You're going to use a pH of 7 and a pH of 10. You're going to go through select it like you did with the salinity probe and then you're going to take this pretty much the same steps to get this one uh, calibrated. I used some water in between just to make sure that I got all of the pH solution off the probe and after I was calibrating it for the second time, again, rinsed it and towel dried it and then placed it into the probe rack. And after I had everything, all the probes calibrated, I pulled up Apex Fusion on the app on my phone and I was able to look at everything. And it goes far beyond just the probes. I mean, the presets that it comes with, uh, you can you have lights that are pre-programmed uh, to turn on and turn off at certain times. Uh, you have a return pump that is already pre-programmed. You also have a skimmer uh, outlet that's already programmed. And all this stuff is tracked on Apex Fusion. And you have your handheld, which is most likely going to be your cell phone. And you can also look at it on your desktop. And it tracks everything. And something that I haven't really spent enough time with yet, but I will and get better at it, and I'm definitely gonna make more videos on it, is using Apex Fusion and what you can actually do with that. Uh, something that actually blew my mind, and it's something that I found recently, is that you can track the amount of power that you're using on your Energy Bar 8. And not only does it track how much power you're using, it will figure out the amount of money that you are using. If you can look up your power bill and see what you're paying per kilowatt hour, uh, it will convert and tell you exactly how much money your aquarium is using, which is either going to be a very good thing for me or a very bad thing, because this has been a topic of conversation uh, with my significant other in the past as to how much power my aquarium uses. But all things considered, the presets that they have on the Apex, it makes it user friendly right out of the gate, but you also have the ability to get deeper into it as time goes on. And I'm definitely looking forward to putting out more videos on what actually I can do with Apex Fusion. Overall, the Neptune Systems Apex is hands down one of the most important pieces of equipment you didn't know that you needed to have. And the only reason I'm saying that is because I didn't know I needed it. And now that I have it, I can't imagine having an aquarium without one. Even if it was the junior that I was putting on the tank, in the grand scheme of things, it's a small investment for a lot of reassurance that if something's going wrong with my aquarium, I'm getting notified and I have at least a fighting chance to stop what's happening. And that's, that's something you can't put a price on. So for me, I am very, very high on the Apex, and I recommend it to anybody, not even like, you know, hardcore reefers, anybody that has a saltwater aquarium. So that being said, I want to thank TV Aquatics for giving me the opportunity to take a look at the Neptune Systems Apex. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's episode of Mad Hatter's Reef. If you're new, 
to Mad Hatter's Reef, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and if you want to check out the Neptune Systems Apex, there's a link in the description below. I want to thank you for all that you do, and I'll see you guys next time right here with a brand new video.